Have you heard anything about Kate Walker? No, sir. Nothing yet. She should have been back in New York several weeks ago. I'm afraid she's too far gone. We're losing her. She ain't gonna be coming back. Call her! Siberia is an island. An island lost in the ocean. People say Siberia doesn't exist, but people are so wrong. The isle is covered in the tallest grass. Strange grass that grows through the snow. Mammoths eat it all the time. They're always hungry. Hans, you must rest now. You have a very high fever. Take me to Siberia, Kate Walker. Mammoths, Siberia, all that. It's just a dream, a kid's dream. Promise me, Kate. She's not behind her messages, sir. Try again, damn it, try again! Hello, Miss Walker? Just a moment, please. I... Give me that. Kate? Come on now, pet, answer me. I understand your last mission was a hassle for you. But you know, the company has ways of showing its gratitude. Kate, it's time for you to come home now. Your place is here in New York. Your job is here. Your friends are here. Your life. Kate? Kate? Kate Walker! I promise, Hans Varlberg. We're going to Siberia. Hi. Hello there, Kate Walker. You know what? I'm so happy to be here. To follow you in pursuit of your dreams. My dreams are now your dreams, Kate Walker. When are we leaving again? I want to leave as quickly as possible, but it's Oscar who decides. He's the master of the train. I don't mean to get personal, but don't you think that this journey is going to be a bit tough for a man your age? I am going to Siberia, Kate Walker. End of discussion. You do understand. Hans, where are we? Somewhere on the way to Siberia. Is it still far? Pretty much. <sighs> Nobody's seen this island. No explorers ever talked about it. And well... It's not on any map, Hans. I know Siberia exists, Kate Walker. Do you think that the train can go much further? There's more and more snow and the cold is biting. I designed and built it, Kate. You did remember to wind it. No, not yet. Then get it wound and let's be off. So, how do we wind the train here? There's a train winder at the head of the platform. Ask Oscar, he'll show you. See you later, Hans. Yes, see you later. Hello? Kate Walker? This is Oscar calling, your driver. Oscar? You're using a telephone? Mr. Foroberg has in effect jerry-rigged me something very approximative, inspired by your own miniature device. Mr. Foroberg is such a repository of knowledge. I am calling to inform you that we have arrived at the station, Kate Walker.
Great. Which station's that? The station is located in the town of Romansburg, Kate Walker. Okay. I'm gonna go snoop around. Do be careful, Kate Walker. Always am, Oscar. Welcome to Romansburg, the last town before the vast wild glacial wastes of the tundra. Retired Colonel Emilioff Lupachev, guardian of the Imperial Marches and general store manager at your service, Miss. How may I? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the frontier town of Romansburg. Gateway oh, to the tundra, to the last town use. before the vast plains of the frozen I might waste. As well be a snowman. Hmm, what a welcome. Strange town. What do you make of it, Oscar? Trains should never have to stop. I simply don't like stations, Kate Walker. Nor the towns around them. That's a little bit of a generalization. The whole town is lugubrious. And I don't like these houses underneath the rails. To me, they spell T-R-O-U-B-L-E. We have to be very careful. Uh-huh, still the same old scaredy-cat. I cannot change my design, Kate Walker. Sometimes I say to myself I should just go back to New York. Do you miss it, Kate Walker? I don't know. I don't think you will ever return home, Kate Walker. It is too late now. Oscar, how come you're programmed for psychology all of a sudden? Hans isn't looking so great, don't you think? While his passion is strong, his wheelwork is worn, Kate Walker. Yeah, I guess so. Sometimes I say to myself that it's all just a figment of my imagination. That Siberia is just a pie in the sky. You ask yourself the strangest questions, Kate Walker. I am particularly piqued that you question my reality for an instant. Even more to question that of Mr. Forelberg. I'm sorry, Oscar. That was dumb of me. Do you think that we're any nearer to our goal, Oscar? It is getting colder, that much is certain. Personally, I have no particular goal, Kate Walker. But the train and myself have not been designed to function forever. I would be grateful if you could talk about this matter with Mr. Forelberg, at him alone, if you please. What do you think about this stuff about mammoths, Oscar? Kate Walker, my place is not to pass comment on human dreams and utopia. My place is here in my place. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder. At the end of our journey, we're going to find Siberia, aren't we, Oscar? Kate Walker, please, I... I have not been designed to ask such questions. I am an automaton. I know, Oscar. I get the picture. That's it, Oscar. I've wound the train up. Now we can leave. That's impossible, Kate Walker. Why, Oscar? Soon we shall be confronting extremely cold temperatures, Kate Walker. We shall need coal to keep ourselves warm. <sighs> this time you're not wrong, Oscar. It is a bit nippy. 
As soon as you have filled the coal car, we can set out again, Kate Walker. I'll see what I can do. See you later. See you, Kate Walker. <laughs>